Now you gonna tell me, oh, you can't rape a woman. If I feel like raping a woman, I'm gonna rape a goddamn woman. Now you gonna tell me, oh, you can't rape a woman. If I feel like raping a woman, I'm gonna rape a goddamn woman. Then he would understand that if a woman got raped, that's lawful in the sight of the most high. If you see a woman out there, Israelite woman, that was 12 years old, 11 years old, and she went through a cycle, a mystical cycle, cycle meaning her body's prepared to uh, have children, and you can take that woman, you can take that woman by force. That's, that's biblical. That's biblical. In today's society, a woman has too much free power. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. This is your kid. Back in the day, there was no free power. There was no, I'm going to the mall. There was, sit your ass in this house till I bring my ass home. And if your ass get to going out there like you said not, guess what? You get a rape. But you get a rape. But you get a rape. But you get a rape. And that's what's going to happen to you. When that day comes, a oh, woman, rape. power woman is strong. When is that day going to come? Don't worry about it. Fucking moral. You're worrying about it because you're talking about it. your pussy clean. I'm looking forward to it. Excuse me? Keep your pussy clean. That's all you need to do. You understand? Keep your stuff clean. You don't need to know about the day. Just keep it clean. Cause when it, what you talking? It's going to be mine. It's going to be like my car. You're kidding, right? It's going to be, be just like one of my possessions. That's a joke. I'm sorry. That's a joke. Look at my eyes. You see me joking? Because the Lord said that's what we're going to do in that day. The Lord said that? Where? Show me where he said that. Show me where he said that. Show me where he said that. Alright, this is Isaiah 13 starting at 14. And it shall be as a chaste roe and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. Meaning, your people ain't gonna be like, I have black friends. It's gonna be white people against black people and such. Every, hold on, hold on, through, and everyone that is going unto you shall fall by the sword. So even though you got black friends, Spanish friends, if they with your ass in that day, they're going to die too. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. What does ravish mean? It means you're going to rape your ass, and I'm going to have fun doing that shit, and you're going to like that. I'm going to rape your ass, and I'm going to have fun doing that shit, and you're going to like that. I'm going to rape your ass, and I'm going to have fun doing that shit, and you're going to like that. I'm going to rape your ass, and I'm going to have fun doing that shit, and you're going to like that. I'm going to rape your ass, and I'm going to have fun doing that shit, and you're going to like that. I promise you. Damn straight. What's a racist? That means you guys, you had to believe that your people, your people should rule. I want my people to rule. You are a pig. You, you are a pig. You are a pig. You are a pig. You are a pig. That doesn't matter. You, this is what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. You have the words, but then you told me your own interpretation. The first from the book. Yeah. What does that mean when it says your wives will be ravaged? What does that mean? That don't mean shit up, but that means you gonna get raped. You need a dictionary? We got a dictionary over here. You want me to go get it? I know my language, honey. It don't matter. Then you know it that shit matter. is gonna happen. Anything I say, you say it doesn't matter. I know that it shit It don't is matter happen. right now, but it's gonna matter when your clothes are up and I'm going inside of you repeatedly. That's when it's gonna matter. Because you're gonna enjoy yourself. Just as I told you, perverted, sick, evil, lustful. This is the doctrine of the black Hebrew Israelites. This is the doctrine of the Great Millstone GMS, the doctrine of Vernon Brown, A.K.R.L. Aha, the doctrine of the ISUPK, and General Yahor Nahr, and the doctrine of Israel United in Christ, the doctrine of We Got Next, and the 14th Street Israelites, the Gathering of Christ, of Ringo for Life, and Neo 196, these violent terroristic black Hebrew Israelite groups, camps and organizations preaching a false gospel oh, of greed, Roth envy and special illness through the encouragement of fornication, rape, polygamy, and hatred and for women nothing like the true gospel of the real Jesus Christ. If you belong to, or get your biblical knowledge from any of these groups, stop, repent forthwith and come to the power and G, and grace of Jesus. Only in sweet Jesus will you know how to live, how to love, and how to thrive. There is only one way to go, and one way to the most high and these guys ain't it. It's time to do away with each and every one of these groups immediately. And it's time for all those that speak for truth and justice, and especially those of us that are both believers in the true Lord Jesus Christ, and defenders of the true children of Israel in the nation-state of Israel to 
not only confront these groups and camps, but if you notice any suspicious act of domestic abuse, rape, or terroristic threat posed by any of these beasts, contact your proper authorities immediately, up to and including local police, state troopers, homeland security, the NSA, the FBI and the CIA, and that's especially from those beasts known as the Great Millstone and its principles, Daha, Gaba, Roka, Haram Lab, Yahanabar, and others that dress up in rags and call to himself the Jewish people. How dare they, these scumbags don't deserve to speak on street corners. They deserve to be put in super maximum security prison, because nothing but Satan is in their souls. They are no different from Farrakhan and Al-Qaeda. Again if you or anyone you know follow any of these groups, stop. Do not pass go, do not collect $200, do not attend another meeting or camp, repent this instant, and come straight back home to the Lord Jesus Christ. You better be painfully aware that you are in grave danger, and on a one-way trip to the pits of fiery hell, the door to eternal life is closing, and now is the time to get right with God before it's too late. So don't wait, don't be late. Flee from the sinning synagogues of Satan, and come and run to the arms of Jesus. He loves you, yes, he doesn't, he wants you to be with him in his kingdom. So come to Jesus right now. Come to Jesus.